Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime, and today we are visiting the Nintendo Switch Rumor Mill. It's actually been quite a while since we've covered rumors for Nintendo, believe it or not. I know there's some of you out there that think that's all I do, but if you actually take a look at my content, it hasn't really been that frequent or that often lately because there just hasn't been a lot of them out there, at least a lot of them that I felt were worth covering, but I decided to grab a batch of them from the same source and put them together in this video just because it's very interesting the things this person had to say. Uh, among these things is a potential release date for Splatoon 3 or at least a release month for Splatoon 3 with some additional details. Uh, and then we have a little bit of potential teasing of a game that Nintendo's going to announce at sometime soon. Uh, and on top of that, uh, we get to go over another possible red flag, but also could just be a lack of uh, knowledge of this person. Uh, but you know, that is what it is. Uh, before we get into that rumors, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love my fan base so much that we are actually doing a massive giveaway called Prime Gaming Fest this June. We're going to be live reacting to Summer Game Fest along with thousands of dollars in giveaways, hundreds of winners. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, lots of entertainment happening, uh, contests and competitions between me and the co-host and punishments and all of it for your guys' entertainment. We'll obviously be playing games as well during this show. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun and some of you guys will even get to play with us and compete with us, including in something such as video game um, Wheel of Fortune, which will have four of our fans compete in. So it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, you know, so since we do stuff like that, I would just ask that people subscribe to the channel, uh, drop a like and all that, and you know, hopefully you're doing that because you like the content. All right, now let's get into this first uh, thing here. And again, these are rumors. Put those tinfoil hats on, throw the salt over your shoulder, you know, or it's bad luck. Uh, you know, back your truck up of salt and dump it all over the ground uh, because you'll see why in a moment. So we're talking about some stuff that Samus Hunter has put out there. And uh, Samus Hunter is, a, you know, for those who haven't heard of her, she is someone who has been leaking content for, I don't know, a year and a half. She's got a interesting track record missed on several big things but then also has hit on like everything in between those big things so take that for what you will in particular she's really good at hitting at things that are going to be posted on twitter uh and she has some stuff on here for splatoon 3 and she says Nintendo splatoon 3's official japanese website is now live which you know we we did a video on that earlier we covered it not new information but the new uh, splatoon north america is also posting information released before the account foundation to keep up with all the news so basically okay yeah, twitter accounts are posting on splatoon 3 we know this already given the new internally targeted july release date and that's new we have not we just heard summer we didn't know there was a target of July. So a July target release date after the launch of Nintendo Switch Sports. You should expect to see the main game focus for the next few months. The release date could be dropped on their social in a couple of weeks, possibly before the investors meeting. And you know, this was posted on April 7th. If you're worried about the lack of news on the game, new trailers and a dedicated direct are planned alongside daily news on characters, weapons, maps, enemies in their social channels and full marketing campaign will start. So again, this is some news on Splatoon 3, potential news anyways on Splatoon 3. Obviously we know Mario Strikers drops in June, so it kind of would make sense that this would be their July game anyway. So, um, you know, some fancy deducing could point that, hey, she might be actually right on this one. Uh, but it's very interesting to see uh, when they're gonna start the advertising campaign for it. I would assume after Nintendo Switch Sports comes out, but then again, they gotta advertise Mario Strikers. So who really knows? All right, beyond all of that, we have this is a really interesting one where she notes, you may love this upcoming game or hate it. Okay, so it's a love-hate relationship I guess fans have with it, but I'm sure it's going to be a shadow drop announcement. So not in a direct or anything, on a Nintendo social channel with a near release date and it's going to surprise everyone. In one, two months, it should release. So essentially, I don't know, suppose this is April 4th, so in April, May, maybe early June, it should release. Um, but it all depends on other digital store approvals. So if that makes it obviously sound like it's a digital only game, 
You know, is this going to be like a Rusty's Real Deal Baseball 2 or something like that? Is it going to end up being a 1, 2, 3 Switch? You know, a sequel to 1, 2 Switch? I don't know. Uh, but this does seem to hint that Nintendo's got something to drop whenever the hell they damn well feel like it that's going to be a digital-only game. Uh, and who knows? I mean, we've had you know, uh, you know Mario 35 as an example, Tetris 99. Maybe it's something in that ilk for Nintendo Switch Online. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be really interesting. And this obviously assumes that she even knows what she's talking about. Um, so we'll, we'll see there. Now, this is one that I thought was interesting. Um, where she was trying to give some context to Nintendo's purchasing of the land and building that building, you know, where we talked about the acquisition of the city-owned land. We talked about that a couple days ago. And she said, Nintendo's trying to expand its internal development team and increase their efficiency. Next Level Games and SRD acquisition. Yes, we, we, we know this happened. These were announced by Nintendo. Two rented floor and one smaller building starting this summer. I, I don't know what she's talking about. I haven't seen any documents on this, but maybe she's hinting that Nintendo is about to open a smaller building and rent a couple of floors somewhere. I I don't know. We know they closed some stu uh, they closed an office building, I should say, in California, but they weren't actually downsizing. They were just relocating, and you know, yeah, a bunch of staff obviously left because they didn't want to relocate outside of California. Um, they made partner studios like Game Freak and Hal closer to their tokyo epd studio and this is the one that um i don't know if she's just assuming because here's what we know game freaks address for their studio is the same one as nintendo hq in kyoto game freak already works out like inside of nintendo's headquarters right now so they moved them closer to their EPD studio. No, no, they didn't. Game Freak's been working inside the Nintendo headquarters for years. Um, Hal as well. Hal and Game Freak both work inside of Nintendo HQ. So this isn't even news. It's been that way for years. So I don't really know. I don't know if she just doesn't know. Like, this is public information, so... This isn't even like trying to call a Samus Hunter. This is just factually incorrect. Um, now this, this is interesting, the 2.5 size, the monolith teams. I don't know if that's true. Of course, this is something that, I don't know the exact headcount at monolith soft and what it was before the hiring spree. Um, anyways, here, here's what she goes on to say, and they're growing won't stop there. They also have plans to greatly improve monolith soft Kyoto team. They, there's multiple monolith soft teams. She's not wrong there. The ones who work on asset creation for EPD, titles such as Animal Crossing, Splatoon, Pikmin, Zelda. <clears throat> Nintendo is also looking at a new director producer inside its internal EPD. I mean, okay, yeah, they're, they're probably... I would think they're always looking for new directors and producers, right? I, I would think. Um, also, other partner studios like Game Freak have grown too. Yeah. <laughs> and other smaller developers like Vampool and Camelot are more and more involved with Nintendo projects and teams. Camelot actually never stopped being involved with Nintendo ever, but um, Nintendo has a clear vision for its future. I think Nintendo always has a clear vision for its future. I don't know that I don't know that I've ever seen a Nintendo that doesn't know what its vision is for the future. Even the Wii U and 3DS days, I could argue uh, Nintendo has always had a clear vision just because the vision doesn't get realized or the vision doesn't sell well doesn't mean there isn't a vision even when, when they released virtual boy and that flopped they had a vision for virtual boy it just never really came to fruition um just like they had a vision for labo vr and it didn't really take off the way that they were hoping it would uh so yeah nintendo has lots of visions for a lot of things it's what becomes reality and what doesn't, and it's usually based on what's selling and what's not selling. If it's something that isn't selling well, that suddenly isn't part of their big vision anymore. Like, I highly doubt they thought, you know, at this point, they would be shutting down, like, Dragalia Lost and, and other various mobile games that they're looking at shutting down, because I think they thought they would be a hell of a lot more successful in that space, uh, but they can't quite get to the same success levels as Fire Emblem Heroes, uh, Mario Kart Tour, and I mean, obviously the behemoth that is Pokemon Go. Nintendo, a lot of like Pocket Camp and Mario Run have fallen well short of, I think, where Nintendo would like them to be. I mean, we see Dr. Mario wasn't even out that long before they shut that game down. So, look, Nintendo has a clear vision for its future. I do think Splatoon 3 probably logically drops 
uh, you know, when it does, because we know about Xenoblade Chronicles 3 coming, I believe, in September. So, I, I you know, I just have a hard time thinking it's going to be an August game. It could be an August game, uh, to be clear. But I think Splatoon 3 is ready to go right now. Like, they could literally ship it right now if they wanted, in my honest opinion. So, I, th I think July makes sense. Let Strikers have a little room to breathe. Um, get, get, like, a E3, like, direct out there. Uh, and then, you know, obviously drop Splatoon 3 the following month. But uh, that's just you know, my speculation. You guys let me know what you think on this information from Samus Hunter. Again, I know a lot of you guys don't like her. Some of you guys think that I am Samus Hunter. I don't know what I can do to prove I'm not Samus Hunter. Like, when people make accusations of you and they're like, Hey, I think you're Samus Hunter and you're just making all this stuff up yourself. Like, what do I, well, what can I do to prove that wrong? Like, it's an anonymous account. <laughs> like, I, I, I don't. I don't know what, 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 what can I do? Like, I can't, you know, I guess go, you know, I, okay, cool. If I'm, if I'm Samus Hunter, if I'm Samus Hunter, right? All right. Um, then let's go, let's just, let's just, let's just take a quick thing here. Let's go up to my, let's go up to my login. Let's go home here and go, go to, go to, oops. Uh, how do I log? I don't even know how to log out of Twitter. Uh, you would figure maybe, maybe this will help. I, I, how do you, hell, I don't even know how the hell to log out of Twitter. How do you log out? Someone tell me. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, actually, I, I'm really not kidding. I actually don't know how to log out. Um, there's that. And since I spend a majority of my time on desktop, again, though, it requires that you believe me. I guess I can grab my phone here and show you that um, what my accounts are on Twitter. Like, if I go here and, uh, you know, you can see my accounts there. It's Nathan Jantz and uh, Nintendo Prime. I know how to switch my accounts there. Um, you know, if, let, let, let's say that I want to add an existing account, right? Um, you can see, like, if I type in... S for Samus Hunter, nothing pops up in my saved login. So I don't know, guys. I mean, it's almost as if I'm not Samus Hunter, but you guys do with that information what you will. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next video.